Like, can you just forget about him and, you know, focus on the baby? But then I tried to empathize because I'm sure that we can all relate to this. As moms, uh, it starts from when you just have the baby. And then it becomes a life changing experience where you don't even know what you're doing again and you can literally lose yourself if you don't, you know, put yourself back in order and go, you know what, okay, how am I really going to prevent these children, right? So motherhood, I feel, is uh, the biggest gift that we have. I like to call it a gift because it is not our identity and it is not who we are, right? But it's a gift and we need to go out to nurture that gift, right? So, um, yeah, so I was talking about my sister this week and um, she, you know, she, I just, just looking at her, I remembered when I had my own first child and, you know, I would cry with the baby at times. And after a whole year, I felt so rusty. Even going back to work, I, I was just like, I don't even think I can go back to work. Do I even know what I'm doing again? I don't even feel competent. I don't know who can relate. Am I just talking for myself? Or, yeah. Like, who can relate? So, it's, 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 I, I know how motherhood can really get. So, um, I always like to come from a place of self-care. So, we as women, we are an entity, we are a whole entity. And we cannot just focus on no, no. children alone, or we focus on just our jobs alone, or we focus on, you know, a lot of times we tend to just focus on certain things without making ourselves whole, right? So today I'm just going to be sharing six tips on how we can take care of ourselves. And um, the first category is mental, mental care. So how do we take care of our mental health? And under our mental health, we have emotional self-care. So emotional self-care means really having compassion on yourself every single day of your life. And putting yourself first, because you cannot give when you're empty. You're, you need to be full before you're able to give. So it's very important that we all have compassion on ourselves. Also, I will talk about spiritual self-care. Spiritual self-care, I feel, is the biggest part of our self-care. We need to constantly connect to our source. How do we spiritually take care of ourselves? We connect to God, pray, and we also have a community. A community of faith. A community that, you know, uh, they can hold you up when you are down. So a community of faith is very important for spiritual self-care. Also, you want to be able to take care of yourself physically. I know a lot of times you're overwhelmed, you're tired, and you're like, how can we even get in 30 minutes of walk a day? Or how can we even get in 30 minutes of exercise a day? It's really been intentional about these things because I believe that self-care is, uh, is both um, strategic and you need also have, have to be very intentional. So it's really about being intentional about it. You can set aside 30 minutes a day where you ensure that you're taking a walk or you're doing some exercises just to ensure that you're, you're physically you're, you're okay. Also ensure you're taking care of your, of your health by going for monthly, I mean, yearly physicals. I know a lot of people that go, I don't even have time. I'm like, how do you not have time for, for your physical? Like, seriously, you know, so you want to ensure that you're taking care of yourself by going for your routine medical and dental, dental care. Also, psychological self-care, uh, journaling daily for self-reflection is very powerful. And even when you're stressed, it's important to just write it down. I believe when you write things like that down, um, you're able to, you know, just look back at the situation and, and find some peace in the situation rather than being stressed. So it's very important as moms to um, form the habit of journaling. Um, we also have relational self-care. It's okay to regularly schedule time with your husband, time with your children. You know, I have, I have a very interesting story. When uh, my son was about one, I was considering putting him in the nursery. And why? Because I, I wanted to be home for a while, and then I discovered that for like six months, I wasn't really present with him. I was just putting him in front of the TV and I would doing my own thing because I wanted to work. But then, in my mind, I wanted to work, but then physically, I'm like, you know what, I 
want to be there for this baby. And then I actually tell myself that, you know what? It's okay for me to go to the lottery. And when it's back, if it goes 10 to 6, and when it's back, if it's two hours of presence that you have in your children's life, it is, it, you're creating memories. It is so much more than just keeping the child at home all day and you're not present with the child. I just putting the child in front of the TV to put the person where you're not doing anything with the child. And I discovered that that also helps me to, you know, I feel I've fulfilled that part of my life where I've gone to work, I've come back. Now I want to take care of my family. So it's, it's really about having that balance. Also, you want to professionally take care of yourself. A lot of people don't stop working. You get old, you still continue working. Especially business people, even people that are business people, a lot of people in the health field and in other fields, you just keep working, right? So we need to have boundaries as moms. We need to know when we want to stop working and when we want to you know, focus on our kids and when we want to intentionally focus on ourselves. One of my mentors wrote this week, and I copied it from her page and I saw this. She says, add intimacy with boo, happiness with a bowl of ice cream, Sabbath with my Jesus, thinking time for my vision, full day sleep at the hotel, worship with retreat in the spirit, bonding with my babies, etc. to your calendar. Let your schedule buzz with your highest priorities so that the next time someone asks where you are going, you will be sacrificing what matters the most. I hope that um, at the end of this talk, you are not able to pick some one or, one or two things on how to take care of yourselves. Thank you very much.